Today's rain in southeastern Cabo Land is the last thing farmers need for their already saturated fields. It's been such a wet fall that a farmer near Alexandria, South Dakota, has been checking on his livestock by boat. Cabo Land's Perry Groton followed the winding and muddy trail to the underwater pastures. There are no shortcuts on the farm when you're dealing with flooding. Hanging on, Mom. Richard Allner carved this back road through his corn crop because the main road to his farm is underwater. It makes a lot more work on everything is, is the biggest thing. And worry about things he didn't used to worry about. Just today, Allner's tractor got stuck in the mud while leading his cows to shelter from the rain. I didn't make it. <laughs> they did go. They, the cows came home, so... In conditions like these, Allner's most reliable mode of transportation is a boat his wife just bought him. He can keep track of his livestock while trolling his pasture that's now a lake, he estimates, 20 feet at its deepest. It, it, it'll get you where you're going if you have to get to the other side. The flooding has forced Allner to farm here all by himself. His wife and two kids have a job and school to attend, so for the time being, they're staying with relatives down the road and avoiding a daily commute through the mud. It's hard. I'm a homebody, and it's been really tough, really tough. It's hard on the kids. They have their animals out here. The owners expect that flooded fields could be their reality for months, if not years to come. But they're tapping into a wellspring of faith and humor to navigate these hard times. Pray for something to happen. Pray for it to stop raining. <laughs> but obviously that's not helping. In Alexandria, South Dakota, Perry Groton, Kellogg and News. Allner says he'll have to rebuild livestock corrals that are now underwater. A crew delivered pumping equipment to Allner's farm today. The pumps could start running tomorrow. Well,